The Centre for Climate Finance and Investment is pleased to publish this timely new research, Investing in Nature to Help Tackle Biodiversity Loss and Enhance Food Security, the third in a series on the future of food, produced through the long-term partnership with Standard Chartered. There is a large and chronic underinvestment in nature. Our estimate of private funding suggests an annual figure of $41 billion, compared to the six to eight hundred billion needed to close this nature financing gap. While much of that gap should be covered by public sources, we believe there is a significant untapped potential for private investors to ramp up their activities. Our report shines a light on the financial opportunity surrounding nature assets and sustainable agriculture. As an illustration, we identify a group of European businesses with an enterprise value of 4.8 billion in the food, agriculture and pharma industries whose business models are integrated with nature. The global estimate is 15 billion and has the potential to grow seven or eight fold over the next 15 years. These figures highlight the opportunities which lie in the new nature-positive economy. Our report catalogues global experiences and reveals the range of instruments that exist for private investors. We distinguish between financial market instruments, representing easy-to-access structures for capital markets, and nature market instruments, which provide exposure to real assets. Investments in agriculture and the food value chain stand out as a particular ripe opportunity because of the potential multiple gains from reducing emissions, increasing resilience and enhancing food security. We believe nature investing is an opportunity waiting to happen but requires a number of enablers. Key amongst these is the ability to motivate investor interest through the generation of revenues or cost reductions. Financial innovation is also needed to turn more nature investments into attractive propositions for mainstream investors. Blended finance may prove to be instrumental. Scale will be achieved when we have made the asset class attractive to institutional investors. Enhanced bond structures could be one way of achieving this. Finally, impact measurements and local participation and profit sharing will be crucial to the development of trust, legitimacy and integrity. With these conditions in place, we stand a good chance of creating a just market for nature and tackling biodiversity loss and the food crisis. 2022 is likely to be remembered as a dismal year, not just by the people of Ukraine for the tragedy unfolding on their territory, but by the people of Egypt and other countries dependent on food imports from Ukraine and Russia. Many more will remember the summer as one of burning forests and drought-affected harvests across several continents. Conflict and climate change have created a perfect storm affecting food availability and bringing into sharp focus the role of climate change as a threat multiplier. These events have served to expose the interlinked issues of food security, agriculture and nature long ignored by the financial sector. The ongoing partnership with Standard Chartered has enabled a series of research reports to be produced, of which this is the latest. The previous reports are on the future of food and on the energy transition. The topics of nature investing, food security and biodiversity are ongoing areas of climate finance research, which we are carrying out at Imperial College. Please find our library of research on our website and stay connected to keep up with future work from the CCFI. Thank you.